at this place where I'm performing, I also met a colleague, Kalle. Hey! Hey! How are you doing? Very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Finally. You're rigging up? Rigging up. Yeah. Uh, I use this baby chair for... Get steady. Stability. Stability. Yeah. The key tonight. Yeah. Everything has to be in perfect order. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Do you want to show me what you what you have for equipment? Yes, of course. Yeah. Uh, I usually play with a Dutch grand uh, piano shell. Piano shell. Yeah. Uh, but here it's so small, so I use this, and I use this uh, charge <laughs> for stability. And then I use them. Uh, uh, I will show you. TC Helicon, uh, voice like me. I love this one for uh, sometimes you want a long reverb or a shorter, or you can tap the delay with your foot and uh, some harmonies. I don't use that button so much, but sometimes. And then I use this laser stomp. Ah, cool. This is like a... Uh, so you have a bass drum, bass sort of. Bass drum sound. I also use the uh, Cajun slap for when I play like jazz songs. Huh? Because it sounds like a hi-hat uh, hi hat foot or... So, it's very good. It's a new dimension for me when I start to listen to this, okay. this one. Because you can have the, the beat going and the, the clapping with the audience, you know. You have... Everyone gets the beat. Everyone wants the beat. This is my weapon of choice yeah. for singing. Audio Technica Artist Elite 6100. Is that a dynamic or a condenser? It's a dy dy dynamic. Yeah. Uh, I also use dynamic mics. Yeah. And I, I bought this when I saw Bruce Hornsby using one of these. Because <laughs> ah. I love Bruce Hornsby. So I, I just ordered one. But do you have also some in-ear solutions? Yes, I, uh, I use uh, one is in-ear in my right ear uh, because I want one open and I have an open wedge on the floor sometimes here I don't need it but uh, because it saves, it saves the ears, you know and it saves the voice and you sing more in tune, I believe there are hills and mountains between us Always something to be born And if I haven't Surely you would be closer I think we've known each other for so many years but we never met no, it's great to see you. Yeah, it's great to see you too. Great to see you. How Fantastic. was yesterday? Fantastic. Fantastic. Very good. Yeah. Very uh, energetic gig. Yeah? A lot of uh, sing-alongs and it's great. A lot of requests? A lot of re requests. I knew a few, <laughs> actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did Most you try some of them? Uh, some, uh, some that you yes, didn't know? Yes. I, I think peop many people think that it's dangerous to go out on a limb and try things that you don't know but our job is we are supposed to do that yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's great you have to try and you have to give and that will be enough yeah. even, if, even if you don't know the song or you know a little bit of the song yeah you and know you only half play the that, chorus yeah half and of, you yeah. only play that and it's great yeah so how many songs do you play in an evening you think Yesterday I took one break in three and a half hours, so I played many songs yesterday. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know, maybe 
20, uh, 20, 60 songs maybe. Yeah, I, I would say around 80 songs because yeah. we don't play we don't play the whole songs uh, because we only have the piano also, so we don't play that long intro or that long no. solo. So the songs are often a little bit shorter than yeah. you hear on the radio. Yeah. How many songs do you have in your repertoire, you think? Maybe 200, 250. Yeah. Something like that. And some, I don't even... I, I use the lyrics and I have a few chords written down, but... Yeah, uh, me, me too. Then Just I have the... some songs in the head. Uh, yeah. I yeah, also have the lyrics yeah. and some uh, chords to remember. Yeah. Just, uh, not the whole song maybe, but just to yeah, remember. You, some songs you need maybe just the key. Yeah, exactly. And then you're fine to go. Yeah. So how many gigs do you do per, per year? Uh, this type of gig? Yeah, pre-corona. Pre pre-corona. <laughs> pre-corona. 100 maybe, 110, yeah. Yeah. something like that. Um, it's a little bit less gigs now than before because I don't have a, a management now. I'm on my own. So. Yeah. You had a management. Yeah. Uh, what's good and bad about having a management? Uh, good is every, you don't have to book your own hotels or your own gigs. Per se, and you don't have to, you have great equipment every everywhere you go. And, and the bad thing is that I I can't decide for myself yeah. which places I should go to or, yeah. or so mm. you have to go yeah. to a gig. Okay, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. So it's both good and, and bad yeah. actually. Yeah, and depends on how you are as a person if yeah. if you like it or not. Yeah, yeah. So what, what is the best thing about playing uh, in piano entertainment? I think it's the uh, variety of gigs, you know, some some gigs are like eating uh, gig, dinner gigs, soft gigs or, mm. or brunch gigs. I like the brunch gigs, I think it's great, you know, all the people, you can take it slow. And, but I also like the nightclub gigs. Yeah. But the nightclub gigs, it's more, you get more tired, of course. Yeah. And then I'm not 20 anymore. <laughs> You're not? <laughs> no. What's the most difficult thing, then, you think? I can say what's most difficult for me. Yeah. For, for me, the most difficult part is also one of the things that challenges me. It's that it depends on me. I'm alone in this. I'm going to be the the captain of the ship yeah. at this party or the brunch or whatever, it's only depending on me. But, but, but that's a challenge also, which I yeah. like. And also sometimes that the employer, employer that hires me for a gig, sometimes I don't get instructions to what they want, yeah. uh, what kind of gig they want. Yeah. Do they want the party? Do they want the soft? Do they want just the cozy atmosphere? Yeah. And that can be challenging in a way that's not very pleasant yeah. because I want to do what suits the place I'm at. Yes. And sometimes people don't know what they're what they booked. They no. don't know what they booked. They maybe heard uh, a piano bar somewhere with a different artist yeah. and then they don't know they think all the piano bars are the same or all the artists are the same. Yeah. Uh, and then it can be both challenging and uh, quite good also because yeah. then you like uh, do the eye of the tiger from underneath. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're head of a of an evening, yeah, how do you prepare for it, and how do you want to make it the best as possible? First thing is good sound. Good, uh, good equipment is very important. I use bring a lot of own equipment now, mm. so that I'm I know it's working. I know what I have to do to make it uh, sound good. I like to be prepared, be there in good time, uh, early, so I can sweat off. Yeah, and, uh, and then I I prepare with 
you know, eating food, you have to have a good. Uh, uh, you can't can't be hungry. No, <laughs> you I, know it. I, I usually say that. How do you prepare for a gig? Sleep, I say. Yeah. Because if I'm if I'm tired, yeah, I'm gonna be the center of attention for yeah. the whole evening. Yeah. I can't do it. No. I would say a good song, a good sound, yeah, good equipment, and uh, uh, sleep well, and a lot of water. A lot of water, yeah, a lot of water. And a beer too, of course. Sometimes. <laughs> Not that we are drunk when we are performing, but sometimes a beer helps because you are at the same party as yeah. the guest, and that is one thing. Uh, why I mentioned why it's important to sleep is because the social thing of yeah. this is so important. Yeah, it's very important. Extremely important. Much more important than if we are on the stage. Yeah. We have to be social with the guests yeah. because they're paying us to be that. Yeah. How do you find your songs? I listen to a lot of music. Then I have uh, uh, children, yeah. young uh, daughters, and I try to listen to them. They turn me on to some music, and I listen to it, and I'm, I ask a lot. What do you think about this song? Yeah, they're in their twenties, so. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So, I, what do you think about the, this song? Is it, is this something you know or something you? And and then some songs, they uh, yeah, listen to this, and uh, then I. Okay. I, uh, prepare to rehearse the song and if you get requests um, request on songs in the yeah. evening do you is that something you can take up in your normal repertoire yeah, also? sometimes yeah. I do sometimes I do and sometimes I don't because sometimes I just forget yeah and then I must oh no but Next. it's also it's also a matter of what suits you yeah uh, maybe this request isn't what yeah. you feel like playing yeah. And also, we do need to like yeah. most of our songs yeah. to be able to perform yeah. them good. Yeah. Maybe we can get requests of songs we dislike, yeah. and then it's hard to yeah. take them on the yeah. repertoire. And I don't. No. 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 Maybe I learn a chorus yeah. so I can play it on the yeah. next request. Yeah. But that's about it. Um, you are well, living. In... I, I want to. I yeah. want to ask you a question. Yeah. What is the most uh, weird song request you ever got? Oh, most the weird. weird song. Um, There's a few, I believe. But. Uh, yeah, but uh, it was "Living Living It Up" by Bill La Bounty. Okay. A song I love and yeah. know how to play, <laughs> yeah. but I, to get it as a request is totally out there. I uh, didn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, I love the song. Uh, also, uh, yeah. also sometimes you get you get requests of like songs by Accept and yeah. Wasp and Scorpions yeah. and, 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 yeah. and no, well I play the piano haven't yeah. you noticed <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know I know it, I know the feeling I got one uh, last Saturday and I played in Westeros yeah like you have to play more metal yeah of course I have to play more metal <laughs> yeah on a piano yeah but I, actually, I think it's a law against it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and I actually played with uh, uh, Mickey D oh, from yeah. uh, Scorpion. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. I mean, but he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a very nice guy. Yeah. A great guy. Yeah, great guy. A good drummer, too. Oh. Uh -huh. He's like hitting it hard, and I, yeah. I love it. Oh, cool. Are you looking forward for tonight? Very much. Uh, this will be. Uh, I'm free tomorrow, so I will give it. Go all in tonight. You go all in tonight. Yeah, I'm free tomorrow, and then. So I'm I will feel the competition. Then. <laughs> we are playing two piano entertainers on uh, on separate floors. So I'm on upstairs, and he's downstairs. He had more party than me last night. I had a really good mood last night, so <laughs> I'm I'm happy with that. But he had more party. This is a healthy competition. <laughs> yeah, it's a healthy competition. Yeah. yeah, we're colleagues. We're not com we're not competing with each other. <laughs> Yeah.
you were born in Halmstad. Yeah. yeah. So are you most of the gigs in the area where you live? Yes. Uh, most of the yeah. Now it is, and uh, I like I like it because then I have done need the hotels and the traveling. And in the area where we live, according to us musician, is about two hours drive. Yeah. 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 Two hours drive. Yeah. That's say. the area where yeah. we live. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. You know, when you start to play, you know this too. But when you start to play and you start to tour and start to tour, at first the hotels, the traveling, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. But then, then I, I believe that's what they're paying me for. Because playing is fun. Yeah, but, exactly. But uh, that's getting harder and harder. Yeah. The traveling part is yeah. uh, what annoys me most. Yeah. Uh, the gigs are fun. Yeah. I can, I can have 250 gigs per yeah. year, and it's still fun. Yeah. But I can't travel 250 days no. per year. No, my record is uh, 175 gigs. 199. Oof. Yeah, you beat me. Yeah, yeah, but we have BB King who did oh. like 280. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Traveling alone, you're playing alone, and then you drive the car alone, and yeah. you have to park the car and carrying all the bags. Yeah. So people don't see that. They no. only see when you're on stage and you have like a great shirt on and you're like. That's why this YouTube channel actually, because I want to show the all, all sides of being a musician, yeah. not only the gigs, also what we are, how we're preparing, yeah. what we're doing behind this, behind what yeah. people see. About seven quick ones. Yes, two. Summer or winter? Summer. Favorite venue to perform? Um, uh, do I have to be a venue or a city? You can say city. I like Westeros. Westeros? Yes, okay. very much. Yeah. Uh, favorite keyboard to play? Uh, Yamaha CP88, uh, yeah. I would say. Yeah. It's my main board. Favorite place for a holiday? Home. <laughs> Home? Football or hockey? Football. Coffee or tea? Coffee. When you're going to a gig, music or silence? Music when I'm going to the gig, and silence when yeah. I'm leaving. Ah, cool. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good answer. Um, what is the Swedish word of today? The Swedish word of today is... Um, Räkmacka. Räkmacka? Ja. And in English? A shrimp uh, sandwich? Shrimp sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Yes>. so Räkmacka. <laughs> Roger that. Roger that. Ska jag prata engelska? Ja, det är engelska. Aha, då får vi ta det igen.